Hi, Calvin Anderson. I talked about the school board election. And we need to talk about the real problem, how money is being sucked from the school district, which directly ties into the charter schools. Why is it that the charter schools are allowed to get the brightest kids from the public schools and then the charter schools, when they get a kid that has an IEP, they can send that kid back to the public school, but they get to keep the money in the charter school. So you take millions of dollars and you allow two charter schools in a one square mile town, Asbury Park. You got two charter mm-hmm. schools that are sucking millions of dollars out of the public school. Which does not make sense. Does not make sense. The math does not add up. Now, if we were able to chop one of those charter schools and send those kids back to the public schools with the money and invest it into technology for Mm. artificial intelligence, then you have your school district making progress. You see... You have to realize that when you put all these entities in one big pot, it's a recipe for disaster. And why should teachers in the public schools lose their jobs because they decided to put charter schools and we don't see their data and how the children are doing when they graduate. As a matter of fact, some of the kids aren't doing too well in the community who came from the charter schools. They're not doing very well. Now, the public school, Ashley Park School, has a program where the kid can come out and get an associate's degree. So why don't we step it up and take that money back mm-hmm. and start teaching these kids trades into the artificial intelligence component so that they were able to fix these machines and fix these electric cars. And guess what? You'll have other people in other communities knocking the door down because they want their kids to be able to get trained on artificial intelligence. You see, these are things that are being discussed with the board president and the superintendent to make these things happen for the community. But we have people going out there disparaging the superintendent's name and saying that she's not doing her job. It's simply not true. She's doing her job. She's doing her job because she wants the kids to get the best education. But you can't be afraid of change, Asbury Park. Can't be a cha- you can't be afraid of change. You got to allow your kid to get an education. Mm-hmm. And everybody has to pitch in, even the parents. Everybody has to pitch in so that these kids can make it. And we need to tell the truth what's going on because when you get a kid from Mexico, okay, and that kid from Mexico is about 14 years of age, but you got to put him in the third grade because he hasn't been in a school system in the United States. And so he's not up to par of the educational level that the other children are at. So therefore, the teacher got to go and educate somebody that's older than the other kids to try to get them caught up. It's a tough job. It's a tough job for the teachers, but you have all these people passing judgment. And I do believe that our legislators need to get together so they can just straighten out the situation that's happening in the school district. We don't need all these charter schools. Okay, I know... Donald Trump's uh, Mm. secretary of education is for all these charter schools, but the charter schools are not educating the kids. They're taking the money, but the kids aren't getting educated. So let's put that money back into the public schools, but put artificial intelligent education into the public schools. And let's see how that rises the kids education because kids learn differently. You had kids that were labeled with IEPs or maybe be artistic, but they can be probably geniuses. We have to give them a chance and see what they can do. And you have to allow the superintendent 
to work her magic, what she is trying to do to elevate Asbury Park School District. You had to allow the board president who is trying to push these policies to let these policies go through and not have people at the door fighting them and not have people going there mm. gaslighting and telling the community, oh, this is what the board is doing. This is what the board is doing. And this is what the superintendent is doing because it's manipulating and it's not telling the truth of what's going on in the Asbury Park School District. So let's cut some of these charter schools so that some of those teachers can stay in the public schools. Let's take that money back to the public schools and bring in artificial intelligence and watch how that catches fire throughout the country. Can you imagine that Asbury Park will be training their kids in artificial intelligence? That would be put the microscope on Asbury Park's educational school system throughout the country, throughout the world. We have to, we're in competition with China. We have to be more innovative mm. and we have to be more open-minded and how we want to train and educate our children. So when we go out there to vote, we need to keep that board the same. We need to keep that board the same. We need to keep Barbara McCartney and Dominic in place. And the board president needs to remain board president because these policies are being pushed by her and their superintendent. So let's make this happen. When you go out there to vote, vote intelligently. Do not go out there and do not be manipulated from literature that you're getting on your pizza box or, or in your mailbox or somebody's telling you because it's not true. It's not true. And for the school teachers, you can't blame your superintendent. It's legislatively up on the, the top. Then it trickles down. But if we can make some changes and try to maybe cut some mm -hmm. of these charter schools, then maybe the teachers at the public schools can keep their jobs. Hey, I sat back here and figured out some of the math. I think my math makes sense. What do you think? <laughs>